Well, there's just a big concern saying why are we affected by tariffs when it was subsidies for aerospace and Airbus will get a 10% tariff while we will get a 25% tariff on our goods. So there's a bit of a misunderstanding and hope that they could come to a solution before the end of the week, before October 18th, when this tariff will come into place. Because the US market is incredibly important for the French wine market, for the French wine industry. It's the first um, export market, it's about 1.7 billion euros last year. It's the first market, about 18% of all French wine is exported um, to goes to the US market. As you can hear all the noises behind me, there's all the activity going on in those massive wine tanks because the grapes have all been picked up last week, finished to pick up all the grapes for the season. All the grapes go into those tanks for about six months before they make all the wine. And they produce here in Chateau Lastour in Gaillac some red, white uh, wine and rosé, including sparkling wine, and about 10 to 15 percent of their production goes to the US and it's a market they've been working on lately in the past five to ten years. Like overall the whole French se uh, wine sector has been working in this market to try to regain it a, a, a place there because there's a lot of competition from New World wine etc. So France has really worked on there and so these tariffs now they're really concerned by the impact it could have. So I spoke to Louis de Faramont who's the owner of Chateau Lastour and I asked him how concerned he was about these tariffs for his business. There are two possible outcomes with this tax hike if it's put into place. First of all, our wines will become more expensive. So if a US consumer wants French wine, our wine from Gaillac can become more competitive because it will be cheaper than other wines, but still of a high quality, making it good value, which will attract more consumers. However, it would create a distortion on the European side of the market. You'll have French, English and Spanish wines under tariffs, but not the Italian ones. Italian wine is already very well represented in the US market. So tomorrow it would give them an extra opportunity due to a bargain effect and would put us into direct competition, which I guess is what Mr. Trump is looking for. And you heard here that's the key, it's the Italian competition because French wine, Spanish wine will be on, be, would be under this 25% tariff while Italian wine will not get any tariffs and Italy is already the first one exporter into the US. So the French, the French wine sector is really concerned about having this competitive disadvantage while Italy already well placed on the American market winning more and more of a, of a place there while France would have to step back. So concern about this impact here for business like here, small business, betting on the US uh, and worried about the impact here. They've been making wine with the same family in this chateau since 1579 and a big concern about the impact of the series they could have in the US and also potentially Brexit because Brexit is a second export market for French wine. So it could be a double warming here for the sector. So they are really sitting tight and hoping for a solution by the end of the week. Hi, I'm Joanna Bersacci and thank you for watching. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more from CNBC International. Thank you for watching.